I think about it, the ideas that are coming at night. When I'm, when I, I at night when I'm asleep, sometimes when I, <laughs> I run out of sleep, I wake up and I think and uh, the ideas are coming. Mostly I look at the work that I've done. If I do this, another idea is coming for another piece. I think the, the clay speaks to me because uh, if I, I made the piece, sometimes if I see when it is finished, in me also, I, I, I don't think maybe this piece is made by me. I think maybe God helped me a little bit to do uh, the lovely pieces. Mm. Cool, There's like this rhythm, the synergy that works between artists, and it's something we don't see in Western culture. Something I just really love is that there isn't even a talk about how the work's going to be painted. There's this silent sort of quiet rhythm of choose a piece, a, you know, feel for the piece, take the piece, and then this wonderful trust of responsibility again that every piece is going to be loved and tended to with the same care that the person has made it. Well, most people love the subject matter. They love animals, they love nature, they love colour. I think it's easy, I think it's pretty easy to like Ardmore, but then you get people that either hate it or love it. You don't get anybody in between, which I far, far prefer. Sometimes when I come across an Ardmore piece, it simply takes my breath away. They're so completely gorgeous, they're intelligent, witty, they refer to the history of our country and allude to the future. And uh, without knowing anything about the Ardmore group, if I hadn't known, but 
blessed with an eye that's a, a, a little bit sophisticated about uh, art, um, I, I'm moved by them. And if, if I see them in London or Paris or New York or wherever, they hold their head up with the very greatest of, of ceramic art internationally.